Hey everybody, it's Jason Blahal with Ice Cream Fitness here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about balancing your fitness and your training around serious gaming, online gaming, console gaming, things like that. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Okay, this was a topic that someone asked me about yesterday in the comments because I had let everyone know that I started playing World of Warcraft again, which is a game I used to play quite seriously. I used to do a lot of serious high-end arena. I used to do a lot of in-game raiding, particularly when I was sick, but I did it before that. And I managed to balance previously my work and my training around it. And it, it's an interesting topic because a lot of people see doing a lot of video gaming as being counterproductive to health and not really part of a healthy lifestyle. So I want to give some strategies to work around that. Now, the first concern is that some of these games are so involved with time, and particularly things like World of Warcraft, which I'm going to address the most because that's what I have the most experience with, you have a lot of scheduled stuff when you get to end game things to where you have schedules with a group of people. You might be raiding three or four nights a week for three or four hours at a time, and you have predetermined times with your guild that you do this stuff with, that you're going to be there as a commitment. You've agreed to be there those three or four nights a week, 52 weeks a year. So what you need to do is make sure that you schedule your training around that. First of all, do not let your gaming interfere with your training. If you have four one-hour workouts per week that you do as part of your program, do not ever miss a workout for your gaming. Learn to always put your training first and always do your scheduled workouts no matter what else is going on and then your gaming second. Now the other issue we run into is the time sink involved in a lot of these games because you're sedentary for a long time. There's a lot of grinding involved. It takes hundreds of hours to get a character to max level to even play in-game stuff in something like World of Warcraft. You're going to have to farm a lot of things that you need money and materials and other stuff that you need in the game to play at any serious level and that's going to take extra time and even grinding out honor and battlegrounds for your PvP equipment can take hours and hours and so one of the things that you can do to incorporate not sitting around burning no calories at all while you're doing these long grinds is going to be to do cardio while you do them and there's a couple of different ways that you can do this and what I have personally used in the past, and what I'm about to do again, so it's kind of interesting that someone asked this question because I just ordered this stuff, and I'm getting a recumbent bike that I can sit on in front of my computer, one with no handles up, so that it's just my legs, and I, you know, you put your hands behind to hold it if you want. And I've ordered myself a TV tray that adjusts, it's tall enough to put my mouse and keyboard on for my knees to clear it while I'm doing this, and I can slide it up to my computer desk, and while I do leveling up or honor grinding in battlegrounds, you could sit there and do 30 minutes or an hour of just low intensity cardio a day, the low, low intensity stuff that isn't going to really impact your gains just to burn extra calories every day. Or if you really want to do more intense cardio, you could do interval training and stuff on a bike like that while you are doing your grinding and your stuff that doesn't require a huge amount of focus in the games. Because a lot of these things are time sinks. They're kind of mindless time sinks to honor grind or grind materials you need farming in, in these games. And so you could do higher intensity cardio while you're doing those because you don't need to have that level of concentration and focus that you do for the serious stuff in a game. And I've also seen someone do is get one that does have handles and everything, a full exercise bike, and they built a rack to put on top of it that holds their laptop, their gaming laptop, at a correct level so that they can do gaming while they're sitting on a full exercise bike. And another strategy I've seen guys do who do console gaming is to just play their console games while they're doing cardio or while they're on their treadmill. Or if they don't have any of that, just to burn more calories. I've known guys who stand around playing Call of Duty for four or five hours, but they stand. They do not sit because you burn a considerable amount more calories standing on your feet than you do sitting on your ass. And therefore, if you always stand when you're playing these sort of console games, you'll get used to it to where it won't hurt your skill level, but you will burn more calories so that you're not just sitting around being completely sedentary while you do this. 
All right, guys, so these are just a couple of strategies and tips to help you guys balance your gaming with your fitness. And it's really all I have to say on that today, so I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.